Okay. Well, tour time, I guess. Of course. Let me keep the door closed on that recording. Um, no, I just, uh, my family stuff here and, uh, a little personal little bric a brac and things from childhood and things, sentimental things that are pretty much irreplaceable. <laughs> Art supplies. Well, look at all the bottle caps. Oh, my. If Fallout happened tomorrow, I'd be uh, pretty well stocked. Um, just got a movie poster there, my rooster clock. I got, we've been having power outages a fair amount. Hasn't really been happening too frequently, but there was a power outage I nearly avoided the other night. Simply because my pit where I'm to on my power grid versus the rest of the street's actually different. And anyway, up on top there's some of my unpackaged stuff and my Superman corner. Can't find my pop figure. I don't know if I just have that in another box at my friend's place still. Uh, of course, some other comic book stuff. The Toshiba needs a new capacitor for its horizontal hold. I'm either going to do it myself or there's a place in town that does it, so Chloe's toys and Chloe there's Chloe she's like hi I'm feeling so much better now look at her look at her anyway so up here is more posters tea candle lights just more for if the power goes out um, I'm actually fairly prepared for long-term power outages if need be Nightstand stand where I keep the book that I usually read keep my iPhone charged it's pretty much functioning as an alarm clock on uh, my tablet. Having some tea. I just got this in the mail the other day, so <clears throat> I'm just trying it out, still experimenting with it. More candles. Uh, a big comfy chair the Mac gave me. Having some coffee, doing some capture. Um, yeah. And I'm setting up a Raspberry Pi, but we'll get back to my desktop in a minute. I got a Raspberry Pi with the uh, overclock kit, which is the three copper CPU and, uh, uh, sorry, system on a chip. That's not a CPU. This is a GPU, CPU, and RAM system on a chip. That's, I believe, a Northbridge kind of, you know, sub-processor, and that's the voltage regulator. But there's a fan right there, and it powers up the GPIO. I also modded this powered hub, so I took the adapter out, put the, um, the wall brick into that as well. I melted a little hole and I ran the USB here. This is only USB power. This is back this is not back powering, it's powering in parallel. Of course here's the data. It goes here. Keyboard and mouse. And I modified the controller after the breakaway so I can actually go back and forth. Um, facial recognition is picking up on, on the controller. It's funny. But uh, I'm gonna thinking about it, just replacing the Xbox Jewel with the Raspberry Pi logo. That keyboard's for the uh, computer. It's plugged in here. I got the Pi on right now, but uh, a bunch of different things looking at this TV. PSP. Uh, might just jam out some internet radio later. Don't have it going now because I don't want to be sued. Uh, extra controller and crap. Some of my PC games I've picked up over the last little while, except for Borderlands King of Lynch. I've had those for a couple of years now. Uh, Daily grab pile, including this this thing. I'm going to be doing a thing on how the local Dollarama is a lot like a cheap Think Geek. These are like three bucks at the local Dollarama. Of course, the. Uh, oh, I was at McDonald's a couple times this month. And, uh, yeah, I haven't fixed Creepy yet because she is creepy. <laughs> uh, I'm putting up shelves soon, so a lot of the collectible bric a brac is going to be uh, put, put up on the shelves, and I can just have this looking less busy. Uh, media section, two 360s, top one is hooked to the flat panel, bottom one's um, hooked up to the capture, the capture's over here, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, DVDs, pretty much all store-bought, uh, a couple of uh, non-originals, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's that. I gotta wipe them down, though, they've, they've been dirty from storage. Uh, comic books, bunch of Nintendo Powers and Wizard magazines. A uh, fair amount of Conan the Barbarian cracked and mad from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, hardcovers, DIY books, uh, some VHS. I actually had found this in a uh, local Salvation Army thrift store back in October. And then a friend of mine gave, my roommate and good buddy, gave me this uh, for Christmas. So it goes along with it. It's how to draw the Marvel and VHS and the book. Uh, 
Atari games, Genesis, Nintendo 64, some SNES. The repainted uh, Genesis controller I did. Uh, some CDs. I'm getting into PSP collecting a lot more. i got three of the movies. I missed out on going to the flea market this week. I'll go next week. And um, there's a few. There's a vendor there that actually sells a fair amount of them. Uh, keep it up here, but that's the... Uh, the original Xbox controller that I have mounted with USB so I can hack other Xboxes with it. Uh, collector box sets and him, of course, he should, who you should know, Cloud. But, <clears throat> yeah, so here's the desktop. I just, I've been tinkering a little bit today. The Model M, the tablet. Now, the mouse itself or the tablet died, but I used the pen quite fine. And I go south pot with the touchpad because I'm ambidextrous. This is, so it's not really south pop for me, it's just <laughs> me. But, um, yeah, Skype's open to that. Still using Zubuntu 13.10. Been using Zubuntu since 8.10. So, why give up now? <laughs> There's a pass-through, video pass-through in here. I've wired this up, actually, decently where I can control the audio levels. This is going to be added at a later point when I integrate a soundboard, and this is going to be the volume input for the headphone, for the microphone. So I can just have the headphone in here for monitoring, microphone here for voiceover, and do uh, live recording. Right now I don't really need that because, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, I gotta take this part and clean it. I just got my socket set in the back. Uh, so yeah, this is the room. Progress report. Uh, a lot more videos for the Raspberry Pi uh, are gonna be on uh, the way. Still waiting on the case. This is the last thing in a couple of SNES controllers. It does recognize this because it is stock Microsoft. Uh, hardware, so but I'm using the Xbox DRV uh, driver instead of the uh, XPad default one that comes with Debian Easy that uh, the RetroPod project is built on. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a fresh install now, step by step. I just do a, um, a different install where I try different things out, and I'll just erase and start over again. And it recognizes everything except for the thumbsticks, which is fine because I just really want this for Super Nintendo-ish kind of controls. This will work quite fine. The D-pad I actually like on. And it's pretty good. It's not nearly as floaty as people think. Um, and of course, the rock candy is there. Doesn't get recognized by the. Um, it does, but doesn't get recognized by the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's Retro Pi uh, Distro. It's driver sports being added every day. One thing that got me though is this thing is fucking tiny, man. Look at that. All right, this is my hand, and I'm not a big guy. Let's get something for. Mm, I'm sure I got something here. Oh, here we go. This is, um, to scale, this is a Memory Stick Pro Duo. This is what would fit in a PSP. I just use the adapter for um, for transferring, because I already got a bunch of them. So that's it. That's it being held level with the Raspberry Pi. Fucking tiny. And that's my cell phone just went off. The speaker's actually dead, and so I keep it on the dock just so I hear it. Yeah, I'm going to be trying out different things. Uh... There's going to be some Raspberry Pi videos this week, along with the Let's Plays. Got fiber up now, so I'm going to be Monday onwards doing about two to three videos a day. And this one's going up today. Um, probably going to do a hangout tonight after I dick around with this. Just going to grab a shower and relax today. I'm supposed to go out, but I'm just going to take the dog for a walk instead in a while. So yeah, while this uploads, dog's going for a walk with me because it is snowy as hell out. Look at this. Just, the plow's been through before. A friend of ours left his car here last night. He's got to come by and get it so the plow can do this properly. And the snowmobile tracks go on. Actually, I just go up the road there. And there's a small path that the snowmobiles go to where I can take my dog for a walk. But yeah, so stuff's on the way. i got to redo my schedule now this week and set things up proper. And uh, yeah, so me and Chloe are both uh, plugging away at things every day. I have new videos every day. Weekends aren't going to be uh, as intensive, but uh, weekends will entail things as well. So, yeah, talk to you all later.